Hello everyone, I wanted to give you an update on my condition and an update on the ghost story. I am moving to a new facility tomorrow and uh, my PT guy says I'm about ready to start walking, meaning I'm going to start the process of walking on my own and seeing how that goes. And, you know, it's going to take some work. I won't be on my own right away, but I'm ready to go to that, down that direction. And keep this in mind, no pun intended. My leg and my arm aren't injured. It's my brain that I'm working on, even though my, it manifests through my arm and leg. So this is, I'm doing PT to retrain my brain to uh, move those limbs. The limbs themselves are absolutely fine and, and, and haven't lost a lot of muscle tone or anything. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm, I'm at, where I'm at, and I'll talk more about that in the next update. Tomorrow I'll probably do a guitar video and discuss it. Um, so there you go. The ghost update. Um, when I was uh, doing PT in the gym, there's a mirrored wall that faces the exit of the gym, which is a pretty big exit, a big hallway exit. And um, I saw a girl walking down the hallway that I didn't remember. So I, I didn't recognize. I looked and she had long brown hair and she's wearing a white top and a, black, and a blue, blue pants. And I didn't know who she was. I thought maybe she's another PT. I was looking at her. I was expecting her reflection since she walked. She was walking. I couldn't see her face. She walked behind the reflection of my head, and I was expecting her to come out the other side, of, you know, as she was going down the hallway in the mirror. I never saw her come out. I started moving. I said, she must be coming in, so I was moving my head around to try and see her. Oh, I had all, looked all the way around back there. There was, she didn't come down the hall. She would have been right behind me or pretty close to the, you know, middle entrance of the gym there. Um, I would have been able to see her. There was nobody there. And there was nobody in the hallway, that, that, you know, after that reflection went. So, I brought this up to a couple of the nurses um, one evening, and they said, oh, that hallway is known to be haunted. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Pardon my wild hair, by the way. I said, it's part that she says, it's known to be haunted. And I was like, what? She goes, yeah. That one, and there's the one right curve, you know, right, that connects right to it. They kind of make it a little L shape. She goes, there's a ghost that uh, likes those, hall that, that, they, that wanders those two halls. And we call her Agnes. Female, keep that as a female ghost they call Agnes or whatever. And people have seen things in that hall, weird things have happened. And uh, so I'm not the only one to experience this here on this, on this floor, in this hallway. So that is some new info on my ghost story. Uh, yeah, they've, I'm not the only one with that, so put that in your uh, proverbial pocket pipe, no, or not pocket pipe, whatever. How, how does the old expression go? I was going to say, put that in your pocket and store it. I think it was, uh, the old expression was, you know, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Tobacco pipe, obviously, or whatever they used. Like a Gandalf pipe, I imagine, or something. You make Or a Sherlock Holmes pipe, any pipe you want to imagine. But anyway, um, uh, so that's what they, they told me. Anyway, guys, that's an update. Thanks to everybody for helping out. You know, that has helped out like Dana Kane and my buddies on Babble Gab um, and the MISC and the staff here at the hospital. And I think I mentioned Dana, yeah. And then um, just everybody in general who's throwing their support. And MISC, I'm going to be back. I understand there was that thread about me. I'm going to be back here pretty soon in the next day or two. I'll start posting again and uh, be ready to see you guys and it, again. I miss, I miss talking to y'all. Anyway, have, that's me. Uh, have a good one.